So this photo ended up on my feed the other day, and I can't lie, I still don't know whether I love it, or whether it's the spawn of Satan. Either way, this picture is not photoshopped, even though I, and I think everyone else who sees it for the first time, immediately has to jump to Google to see if it's fake or not. Hey there guys, I'm Will, and welcome to FP1, and this is the story of how Sonic the Hedgehog made it onto an F1 podium. So this trophy actually coincides with one of the more famous races in the sport's 73 year history. We'll get to that in a moment, but first we need to set the scene a little. Whilst nowadays video game console wars rage on between Microsoft and Sony, whilst anyone who has a brain just buys a PC, back in the 1980s and 90s the picture was very different. The battle was between Nintendo and Sega, the first famous for the inspiration behind Mattia Bonotto, and the other for this Chernobyl experiment. Whilst Nintendo more often than not won out in the end, the companies were doing anything they could to build up their exposure and that somehow leads us to Formula 1. It's the 1993 World Championship, a season that saw yet another battle between fierce rivals Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost. Prost would go on to take that title, his last in Formula 1, in rather convincing fashion, though for today we're focused on round 3 of the season, where Senna was the man on the front foot despite having the arguably weaker McLaren car underneath him. That race would mark the first of two Grand Prix held in the United Kingdom, and dubbed the European Grand Prix, would take place at the Donington Park circuit. Sega were one of the main sponsors of Prost's Williams team, but for this event, went rather overboard. The company chose to completely take over the event, with a huge presence around the Donington Park circuit and the Williams team. Their FW15C car was adorned with the legs of Sonic the Hedgehog, with Sega allegedly wanting to sponsor the underside of Damon Hill's car in case for whatever reason he was to flip it over. Rather strange choice when you remember Andrea de Cesaris was still in the field. The sponsorship, I'll admit, was very, very 90s. Don't believe me? Well, we had these sleep paralysis demons, atrocious acting, and Damon Hill held at gunpoint here. Well, I take it everywhere with me because it's um, so portable. And uh, you know, if I get a spare moment, then I can just uh, whip it out of my pocket and start playing, which I think I'll do now, actually. So I think people actually believed this back in the day. People were taking it seriously, though, including the McLaren team, who, to do nothing more but take the piss, would add a flattened hedgehog to their car for every race they won during the season. I mean, can you imagine the uproar that would cause nowadays? Verstappen painting a Team LH fan's head on a spike for every race win in 2023. Would be funny though. Back to 1993 and the event would be topped off with a trophy featuring Sonic himself, with everything set up to see Williams take victory. Yeah, let's see how well that ages, shall we? Williams did everything right in qualifying, it must be said. Rounding out the front row, Prost ahead of Hill. Senna, meanwhile, would qualify as McLaren in fourth, 1.6 seconds off the pace, which would cause mass panic were that to happen in 2023. Sunday would see a return of typical British weather, and by that I mean it pissed it down. On the bright side, that gave us arguably one of the best laps in the sport's history. The Williams pair led off the line as Senna and Michael Schumacher lost ground to Carl Wendlinger in the Sauber. At this point, Ayrton decided that he didn't like this very much and wanted to do some overtaking for himself. Schumacher was quickly dispatched by turn 3, before the Brazilian repassed Wendlinger a few corners later. Damon was next up on Senna's list, and by the time the cars crossed the start-finish line for the beginning of lap 2, Ayrton was in the lead. Four cars, one lap. Wow. The race wouldn't be straightforward from there as it transitioned back and forth between wet and dry conditions. Conditions that would make modern day F1 probably piss itself in fear. Come the end of the race though, Senna held on to take his second victory that season, with the Williams cars rounding out the podium and watching on as Senna was handed the Sega trophy instead. Now it should be noted that although this actually happened, and yes I'm still trying to believe that as well, the Sonic trophy wasn't the official one for the race. Senna was later given the real one, and the Sonic statue was left in the McLaren storeroom, thought lost until someone stumbled upon it in 2018. It's one of those strange stories you couldn't see in modern day Formula 1. Then again, we did have those hideous Gorilla trophies a few years ago, and if it did happen today, Max Verstappen would still win, then probably accidentally drop it on the podium, decapitating poor Sonic in the process. And on that lovely note, I'll end it there. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and get subscribed for more in the future. If there are any other wacky stories you'd like me to cover around Formula 1, 
let me know down in the comments below. Huge thank you then to all of my patrons and channel members for all of your support. If you'd like to get involved and get early access to some of my videos, you can find the necessary links down in the description. For now though, that's all from me, so I'll see you very soon with another video, but until then, have a good one.